All right, now on to Clippers and Mavericks. And like I said, last game of the night is always the one that's a doozy. This one came down to the wire and Luka did it. Luka took it to the Clippers. Him and Kyrie are a formidable duo. They're quietly overlooked because there's not a lot of controversy surrounding Kyrie like there was in Brooklyn and then all the focus has been on Luca being in and out of the MVP conversation. So as a duo, they're not talked about as much, but they work well together. And this Mavericks team goes as they go. I know it's preposterous to think that the Clippers are actually worse off with Kawhi, but hear me out. It's not that they're worse with Kawhi. I think it's the timing of him coming back from his injury that sort of threw things off a little bit. When you learn to play without a player, you learn to play a certain way. Then when he comes back, you have to readjust everything that you're doing to fit him. Even a player as great as Kawhi. So things got really clunky for them out there with Kawhi coming back. Threw things off just a tad bit. I don't expect that to last for long, but it lasted just long enough for the Mavericks to take advantage and take game two in LA. I've been saying that a lot of these series are going to go long but this one really has the potential with Kawhi coming back from injury and the Mavericks feeling like they can actually take the Clippers out and evening the series at 1-1 taking a game in LA they really have a shot to do so so once it goes back to Dallas we're in for a crazy ride